very weird, strange light formation that was over our home. Oh, weird. And it was taken by the neighbors across the street on their security and posted on our neighborhood watch. Nothing in this show should be considered legal, medical, or financial advice. The views of the callers can differ considerably and do not necessarily reflect my opinion, Dex's opinion, or anyone else who works with the show. You should always do your own research and consult with professionals. The internet is full of fake news, so please take everything with a grain of salt. If you want to support the show in a different way, right now you're probably at home or working from home or a combination of the two. You should have a virtual private network. Uh, again, this is something that all professionals have. Anybody that's on their computer a lot should have. You can go to marfuglenews.com slash VPN. Michelle, first time caller. What is going on? You are live on Marfugal News. Uh, you have a, Hi, Adam. How are you? Good. So there's a video here. Uh, let me load this up. Can you explain what we're going to be looking at? It should be a picture um, of a weird very weird, strange light formation that was over our home. Okay, perfect. Uh, yeah. Oh, weird. It took place, I want to say, uh, maybe going into the second week of this past December. And it was taken by the neighbors across the street on their security and posted on our neighborhood watch. Okay, that is weird. We... <laughs> It is very weird. I've never seen anything in that formation. Now, could this be lanterns or or was there any other explanation no. for this? Is is there I don't know this neighborhood. Is that supposed to be sky? Is there any mountains behind it? Um there it's a sky. There's woods behind it and then a park, but the park is not lit at that time of night. And my grandchildren and my youngest daughter were the ones that came in and, and told me about it. They said, Mimi, you've got a, a UFO over your house. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Thinking, all right, maybe they saw some low airplane lights or something or maybe a, a drone. I, I didn't have a clue, but I told my daughter about it, who lives next door, my oldest daughter. And I said, did the kids tell you what they saw? And she said, no, but hold on one second. And that's when she showed me this picture and said that the lady across the street posted it on the neighborhood watch. Oh, so this was on like the neighbor's app or something? Yeah. So let me, uh, did, so I had she, my daughter send it. Does she have, uh, Sorry. so what, what was it doing in the video though? Do we have any, uh, any kind of, you know, was it going up? Was it going down? Was it hovering? It was just hovering, and then the kids took it on their tablet. It wasn't too clear. I was telling Dex, this was the clearest, so I kept this, and they've got it on their tablet. Um, but, yeah, they said it, it was just staying over our house, and they say they see it all the time, but when I go out to see it, I don't see a thing. This isn't, like, right over your house, right? This isn't, like, they're pointing towards you, and they're just, like, hovering above your bedroom it's or something? Between- <laughs> no, yeah, I, it's between my daughter's and my house. It's like for the dark uh, darkness underneath it. That's between the houses, and it's pretty up in the sky. It looks, I mean, I don't know. I I can't really distance it myself, but it's it's in the air. Uh, do we have your permission to share this on the website so people can go and look at it? Absolutely, yes. Well, uh, thank you for showing this. I've never seen anything like it as far as it looks like it's multiple lights that are glowing um, in this weird right. L shape. I, I, I can't even, uh, I don't even know how to describe that. That's not like, like anything I've seen. I can't either. I, no, a drone wouldn't look like that either, right? No, there's, I mean, with 70 lights or something on it. Um, right, no. Oh my gosh, this wasn't at Christmas, was it? <laughs> it's not Santa's no, it sleigh. Was the, going into the second week of of November. That is so freaky. Um, it this is. W- this would almost be worth. Um, I, I wish we could get the whole video. That would be cool to look at. But um, right. I, I just wonder if um, if somebody can do contrast on this. Maybe re fifty five, or if if you're wa- watching, or somebody else wants to do contrast on it. See if we can see anything behind it. Uh, well, thank you, Michelle, for calling in, and thank you for sharing this with us. Is there anything else you want to tell us You're about? You're so it? welcome. 
No, I just want to say we're very grateful for your channel. Keep doing what you're doing. Well, thank you, Michelle, and you have a wonderful night. It's your first time call. Don't make it your last, and uh, keep your eyes to the skies. Okay. If you want to protect yourself, there's a lot going on, but again, this is something I have uh, talked about for three years now. Uh, EMP is something that experts have worried about. It is something that the government has worried about. It's something Department of Homeland Security has worried about. In fact, they have actually put out a EMP resilience report that went to the president a couple years back, and he immediately signed an executive order to harden our grid. Uh, that is because experts took a look at our grid. In fact, they took one look at our grid and said, this is horribly unprepared for an EMP or a solar flare or a, a CME. So what they did is now they are employing EMP Shield and a ton of other companies to basically try as fast as they can to do it. Uh, but it's going to take years to get it to where they want it to get. Uh, this company, not only are they contracted with different agencies, uh, they are also officially on the Demso team helping protect the Texas grid, which has its own grid. Uh, again, they are officially on that team. 100% American-made, veteran-owned, and they have multiple devices. It protects against E1, E2, and E3, all three phases of an EMP. And again, it's it's security that you can't really get uh, with many other products. It, it, you can actually have your vehicle drive after an EMP or your home and your device is safe after an EMP. In fact, multiple. Uh, they stopped at like 41 times. This thing just keeps going. Solar protection, again, you can uh, set that up. The car one takes about five minutes to put in. Again, go to marfuglenews.com slash EMP. Do it before you need it. That's what we always say. And you get $50 off when you use uh, this link, again, per device. And it combines with any sale they're usually doing. So make sure to make sure to use that link there. Feed the haters to the alligators. Your weight or the highway. See you later. DOD is the homie and Mr. Vader. If it wasn't for you, I would never made it. Whole city's covered by the cremated. Now they listen to what we were saying. Doesn't matter if my manufacturer or created. But now.